I got Zyatek every week. And I got a jailbreak update for iOS 5 uh, right here. If you guys don't know already, uh, iOS 5.0.1 has been released. And that is supposed to fix the battery issues that people have been having. Uh, mostly people uh, using the iPhone 4S. Uh, they've been having a large amount of issues with the battery dying too fast. And uh, this update should uh, fix that. However, it sounds like there's no way to downgrade right now. Uh, from iOS 5.0.1 even if you have your SHSH file backed up of uh, 5.0 so right here tiny umbrella this is what I use to, to uh, back up my SH my SHSH files um, and you can see let's see here and so if I scroll down here uh, you can see I got a 5.0 right here uh, GM which is which is also the final it's got the same build number so that uh, should allow me to, uh, to restore to 5.0 well, apparently, I'm not sure if this is true or not, but some people have been saying that if you're on 5.0.1, you cannot downgrade even if you have your SHSH file saved for 5.0. Uh, they said that the, like they, Apple changed the restore system or something like that, so it's a little bit different, like downgrading and stuff. Uh, so apparently, uh, there's no way to downgrade uh, from 5.0.1 if you update to that. And the untethered jailbreak that's going to be out for iOS 5 is going to be for iOS 5.0, not 5.0.1. There will be a future jailbreak, untethered jailbreak for 5.0.1, but the first one released is going to be for uh, 5.0. So if you want that untethered jailbreak uh, as soon as possible, you're going to want to stay in 5.0. Do not upgrade to 5.0.1 uh, because it sounds like you cannot downgrade right now. Uh, I haven't tried downgrading yet from 5.0.1, but however, I am jailbroken on 5.0.1 with the tethered jailbreak uh, for my iPad Touch 4th generation. There is no jailbreak at all for the 4S or the iPad 2 for 5.0. So, so this uh, this jailbreak that's going to be released is going to be untethered for 5.0. That's going to be the first one. So I'm just telling you guys not to upgrade to 5.0.1. You can see the tweet right here, but Muscle Nerd, he says, Jailbreakers and unlockers should avoid today's 5.0.1 until a flow for downgrading to 5.0 is developed. So he said right there, you cannot downgrade. Uh, they have to come up with a way to downgrade from 5.0.1 to 5.0. Then you can go ahead and upgrade to 5.0.1 if you want to, but again, if you're running an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2 or any other device, if you want that jailbreak for iOS 5 as soon as possible, you're going to want to stay in 5.0, especially if you're using the 4S or the iPad 2 because there is no jailbreak at all for that. Uh, but they actually already jailbroke 5.0.1 uh, with a tethered jailbreak, so I'm going to pull this up in a little bit here. Actually, let's go ahead and pull this up now. So on Redmond Pi, this is this link. So there is a tethered jailbreak out. Uh, for all the devices besides the 4S and the iPad 2. Uh, it is a tethered jailbreak, not untethered. And again, there will be an untethered jailbreak out for iOS 5.0, not 0 .01. So uh, just do not update 5.0.1 because apparently you cannot downgrade right now from that. Uh, so this post right here shows you how to jailbreak. I'm not going to run through this at all. I've done tutorials already on the iOS 5 tethered jailbreaks. I will have one out on the final uh, 5.0.1 in a little bit here. I did one on the beta 5.0.1 the beta 2 for 5.0.1, but I did not do it for the final 5.0.1, so I'll go ahead and get that out as soon as possible. But as for now, guys, go ahead and follow uh, this really tutorial if you want to go ahead and do it right now. I would recommend holding off until you actually see a video on this. People have posted them on YouTube, so you want to search for it right now, you can do that. I'll have content on it, and I'll probably put a link in the description or annotation when I have mine out. Uh, but as for now, if you want to either follow the through tutorial or search YouTube for a video, uh, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, right now because there's because there is a tethered jailbreak out of 5.0.1 i know this can be confusing to a lot of people all of the uh the tethered jailbreak and untethered and shsh files and downgrading all this other stuff going on uh i would just recommend holding off if you want that untethered jailbreak i'd explain it uh the most simple way just do not upgrade to 5.0.1 if you want an untethered jailbreak as soon as possible there, i'm not i'm not saying there won't be one for 5.0.1 but there will be one for 5.0 uh, before there is one for 5.0.1. So I just want to tell you that, guys, and that's pretty much the point of this video. Uh, just make note of that. So that's it for this video, guys. I know I've been talking a lot about this jailbreak and stuff, uh, but that's it. And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like it down below and subscribe to top to be notified when there is new uh, jailbreaks out, the untethered and all that other stuff for iOS 5. I will have coverage on that. So just make sure to subscribe and you'll be notified on your YouTube homepage when I release that uh, in your subscription box. So that's all for this video, guys. This is iTech of the Week. I hope you enjoyed the rest of your night, and I'll see you in the next video.